New Year's Eve, 10.30 in the morning, the sky went black and then it went bright red and then we could hear um, houses going up all around us, gas bottles exploding and whatnot. It was really scary. Well, we found out about the tools coming and there was a meeting and they put up a list of all the people to get on the tools and I was on the list. So out I went. <laughs> And then we got on through, um, not the amphibious boats, but the little other boats took us out and into the body of the, of the ship, which was very exciting. <laughs> Just like to thank everybody because the, the staff on the tools were fantastic and um, really friendly and helpful and the food was great. <laughs> the beds were great to have, so yeah, it was a good experience. My house is still standing. Some of them have lost their homes, so yeah, not too good. And others are uh, busily raising money to help with the people who've lost things. My granddaughter made this book, all about her experiences, like before the fire, and then during the fire, and, and then after the fire. And at the end, she's written, geez, our granny and granddad plan the most wild and exciting holidays. So many memories, can't wait until next year. <laughs> so do you think you'll be able to top this year's holiday? Oh, I hope not. <laughs>